Hello everyone to another episode of Harami United. At one point, I think we were debating whether to do Brown Monday or Harami United, yeah, but I think after today's result, I think we, yeah, we went fair enough with Harami United because even in our own WhatsApp chats, group chats, even Twitters, DMs and all that, I think it's been Harami across the board. Uh, but I've got the main boys, Absa and Aki with me today. Boys, first of all, boys, I just want to ask the question because we're just gonna, as always, we're just gonna go straight into it. Did we expect anything different today? Let's give a. We've actually. What was our score predictions for today's game? I think Riz put it down as five-one to City. And you? Um, What's your individual one though? <laughs> Mine individual was probably going to be about six-seven-one to City. Because I was expecting a hammering, a hammering. I was happy with anything that was 4-0 or under. <laughs> to me, the 4-0 or under was doable. So, to be fair, yeah, I think if anyone's got the right to be pissed off, it's me. I said 3-1. No, no, no. I said 3-1. And we lost 3-0, yeah. so we didn't score a uh, goal, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Aki said it's 7-1. So mm. we're way underneath that, so he can't be annoyed. <laughs> Same with Riz, 6-1. And Absa, you said four. So, yeah, better than what you thought. Like, do you know what I mean? Um, but no, but, but seriously, I think we've all, all we've all got pissed off. We've all got annoyed. Um, Aki, yeah, I, I've got to start. Literally, I've, I've... That, that, that group was literally going off every second. Every second, that group, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And... Um, Okay, go on. You, you start first. Um, yeah, because cause I think what it is, uh, I mean... Make your point clear. So I, I'm not going to stop you until you put your thumb okay, up to me okay. to say how hard so, I'm done. I'm not going to try and say anything. Right, so so what it is, um, I think we all are glazes out. Every fan is glazes out. Uh, 100% regardless period, whatever you want to say. Um, but I go back to the manager and the players on the base of the training ground um they go out for two hours on the pitch now two hours on the pitch is not much you know what i mean but they have to put in an effort to at least win the game like rashford was walking around and stuff he didn't do much um i think there was no passion there there was no there was no drive there's no de- de- determination to it actually win the game and i don't know it's just i, I i'm not ten hag out I'm not Ten Hag out. I think Ten Hag is a brilliant manager. Um, and I think obviously Habs and Afsa would agree with me in the terms of if we had a better structure, better ownership, yeah, he would he would strive, he would be successful. But at the same time, I'm going back to what he what does he do on the training pitch? What he does on the training pitch. Um the, the team talks before the games, um, at half time and at the end of the games, what does he actually say to him? Because it can't be, you know what, at the start of the game, he's going to go to Rashford and say, you know what, Rashford, have a good game. But even if you do shit, you know what, it's fine. It's the Glazers' fault. Yeah? Um, because I think we've all got different opinions on who's at fault. It's not the players' fault. I think it's the players' fault. But at the same time, it's like a half time. You were losing 1-0, was it? And we're going to go back into the dressing room, Ten Hag's going to walk in, he's not going to be literally stood there with a smile on his face thinking, you know what, boys, don't worry about it, it's fine, yeah, even if you lose 6-0, 7-0, 7-0, 8-0, 100-0, yeah, it's fine, it's the Glazers' fault, yeah, but the thing for me is, that's not what, that's not what's happening at, in, in the in, in the in the dressing room though, because for me it's just like Ten Hag has to go have a go on him. You've got Fergie, who was probably one of the the greatest managers at United I've ever got. Yeah, he literally had the hair dry treatment and stuff. I think last season uh, when we lost to Brentford, um, he did that mild run as well. Yeah, I think that was the turning point for Ten Hag, and the season last season. This season, what has it been though? Because we've come off last season on a positive note but what's changed this season that the players are actually falling behind not not performing on the pitch 
Now, boy, jump in if you want, because I'm like, I'm not saying we're going to get into a debate or whatever, but you can. No, argue... we need the we, we need the debate. Yeah. We need the debate. Yeah. After, after, go on. Well, go on, go on. Right. Okay. So, look, I hear what you're saying, and I get it. I know why people blame the players. I know, you know, you know, it's not FIFA. It's not Football Manager. The Glazers aren't sat in Tampa with a controller going, oh, you know, circle this, X this, square this, whatever. Like, I get that, and I do understand it. But from my point of view, we have blamed players. We've also blamed managers. We've then sold players, sacked managers, bought new players, bought new managers. We've then blamed new players, blamed new managers, and then rinse, repeat. Okay? And then just on the end point you made about what has happened this season compared to last season, this has happened with Jose Mourinho, Louis van Gaal, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, and, well, I'm not going to count David Moyes. And it's now starting to happen with Eric Ten Hag. We have that one good season. You know, we get a bunch of players in, we get some shiny new ties, and then everything is rosy, it's all good. And then, you know, we get top four, we do well in a couple of cups. In Eric's case, we won a cup. And then, you know, same with Van Hal, we won a cup. Same with Jose. Jose, well, in fact, we won three trophies, right? Well, technically we won three because we won the Community Shield. But there's something fundamentally wrong at this football club. It's deeper than the players. It's deeper than the managers. It's deeper than the staff. Because the people that pay them, the people that sanction these deals, sanction these massive contracts that all these players are on, you know, people in our group complaining, oh, Rashford's paid 350 a week. Guess who signed off on it? The Glazers. They were more than happy to give him that money. So, but then also, as a side part of giving him that money, there's no, right, okay, we want you boys to win the, win the Champions League, win the league, compete you know, get top three, get in a title race. That's not set from the top of the organisation. They're happy for United to coast by, occasionally get top four because, you know, that's where the sponsors are, right? That's where, you know, the Adidas is and the Estee Lauders and, you know, all these brands come into it because, you know, let's face it, we're Manchester United. We're one of the most recognisable sports franchises on the planet, if not the most. You know, probably second to the Yankees, I reckon. But then it's a case of, so they don't set this urgency, but they happily hand out these contracts. So, Aki, you're a designer, yeah? If someone says to you, I want you to design me five websites, they don't have to be great. They can be bog standard. And I'm going to pay you a million for each one. You're going to think, Jello, I've got an easy ride. So there's no, do you know what I mean? There's no motivation there for you. Yeah. You're just thinking the money's guaranteed. It's in my account. I'll do what I want. He's not asked about the quality. So that's my point in the, the whole club's a shit show. We've never had a competent, well, I say competent. We've never had an actual director of football. You know, they've put their mates in place because their mates are the ones Basically, yes, man. Love. Basically, yeah, yeah. It's yeah they basically, basically yes, man. Yeah. And the other thing as well, along that is, I mentioned obviously Glazers happy with top four. I think they're happy when we're not in the top four, because yes, the sponsors have that clause where they pay less. But guess what? The players pay less. Okay, sorry, so I've players got, get I've, paid less. So, okay, so I've got a question for you, and it's the point that I made as well in the dressing room. The team talks. Yeah. Um, what happens there is that the Glazers' fault? Okay, that I was just about to come on to. That okay. side of it, I will blame the managers there. Whether that's David Moyes, Ryan Giggs, Michael Carrot, Louis Van Hal, Jose Mourinho, Ralph Ranić, name them all. Put flipping, put Guardiola, put Klopp, put you know Alex Ferguson in there in this current environment. I'd blame any one of them because something is clearly not right. Is it a case of? Maybe these players are paid so much that they think, you know what, I've got a five-year deal. It's going to cost them 100 million to pay me out. It's going to cost them 10 million to get rid of him. 
the players know that future is guaranteed. Yeah, it, I, I think what it is, it, I think we go back to what Riz said, Rashford and Shaw, regardless of what they do on the pitch, they're going to go to sleep knowing they're going to start the next game. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I think but for me, Hart... I don't think it's. I agree that there is a bit of a mafia in the camp, but I don't think it's select players. I think everyone's like that. Maybe with the exception of Hannibal and Mainu and, you know, Region, who, if you watch him play, it looks like he loves being at the club. Yeah. And the thing is, it's like you got Bruno, who, again, for me, did disappear in the game. Like, there wasn't much. You see the Roy King say... quote? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He needs to be dropped as the captain, which, to be honest with you, I think is true. But then we go back to what Oli said, because what Oli said about the captaincy was no that one no one wanted it. Yeah, and then exactly. M- 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 Harry Maguire got it. Now Maguire last season was a captain, but Bruno m- more or less was the actual captain on the on the pitch, which is fair. Now I want to bring in what Harp just sent uh, to the group. Uh, which Gavin Neville tweeted that quote from Pep Guardiola in a monstrous dig into the running of United Pep Guardiola on the secret of Man City he said and he quoted we are in the same direction me the CEO the sporting director the chairman that is why I think the club is so stable now perhaps I agree with that yeah I 100% agree with that but I go back to the two hours that we spent on the pitch I'll get that, No, no, look, look, let me ask you a question. Why do you want the Glazers out? Oh, do you want the Glazers out, by the way? 100%. Do you want the Glazers out, yeah? Yeah, and I, yeah. I need, I need, I yeah, need to yeah. understand, you see. Why do you want the Glazers out? Because they've been at the club for, what, 18 years? They've literally milked the cow. They've, 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 they haven't even put their own money into the club. Now, it's like if I own a business, like for example, I've got my own business doing graphic design, websites, stuff like that. Yeah, I'm gonna invest in myself to improve that business as well. I mean, I'm gonna invest my own money. I'm not gonna just leave it and just let it rot. Do you know what I mean? I want to invest in myself and improve in a lot of areas. Now, I've taken courses to improve my skills in what illustration, into coding, and stuff like that. Now, on one one website, I make four grand. On one website, it could be what it, it, it could take me three weeks. I make four grand. Sometimes I put it up to about six grand, and the customers are happy with it. Do you know what I mean? But weekly, for example, it, realistically, I do at least like what two or three websites. Sometimes I, do, I, do, I say to my clients, I can't do it because I've got a lot on. Do you know what I mean? But I pass it on to someone that I know who can do it as well. Do you know what I mean, you want to build something for yourself. Do you know what I mean? I think Malcolm Glazer was different his his son just wanted to milk the cow they saw an opportunity to just milk the cow which is true they floated some shares onto the new york stock exchange um and they've just literally just took money at the club what how, how much in total one billion they, they didn't even invest into the club when they bought the club as well you know what i mean it was is it not loans. over one billion at this point yeah over one, 1 billion as well because you got transfer fees and stuff like that. It's just a headache. And I think obviously this week we had a lot of journals just coming out attacking obviously sponsors and stuff like that. But then I think you had Crafton, he said something to do with measurement, which was fine and we, we can balance it. But it's bullshit. It's bullshit because. Go on. So I'm going to pick up on what you said about Crafton there. It is bullshit. I don't. But I think, look, if any other club in England was in the state that we are in with the debt, with the transfer fees, with the facilities, the government and HMRC would be getting involved and said, right, we need to liquidate this. And they have done it. You know, look at Derby, look at Berry Football Club, Oldham Athletic, Bolton Wanderers. The list goes on of how many football clubs have been mismanaged, poorly run. The owners have taken money out of the clubs. But I'm you're in finance, ain't you? Forward. You're in finance. Yeah. yeah, the financials come out. What was your uh, thing about that? What was your opinion on it? Because for I me, it was a shit show. I saw we made a loss. I saw that because of the interest rates and obviously the debt has now risen, we still owe money to various clubs for various different transfers. Which, if I'm right, all of them transfers that we owe are starting the Ed Woodward era. 
the likes of Lukaku and Pogba and Di Maria, you know, players that aren't even still at the club, but we made commitments to pay X amount of those fees in installments. So guess what? We're still paying them fees. And one of them, Paul Pogba, he's probably going to retire now because he's got a drug span. Yeah. Which I think, I think so, he's second spell of the club with the club but, anyway. my question, but, but my question goes back to Aki. So, <clears throat> okay, finance is one thing. So is it just the finance? With the Glazers, is that what you want to make just because of the finance? I mean, it's it, it's a lot of things as well because it, it does go down to what they've done because they've put in bankers as a structure as well who haven't even actually done anything about it. Do you know what I mean? And now they've got, see, you've got Yes Woman with Colette, you've got Murto with the Yes Man um, in Murto. Do you know what I mean? And there is no sh- structure at all, like, at the moment, I don't see this club going anywhere right, right now. But I think obviously another another subject is obviously is Qatar. I think we've been straight about that. That's another the topic. But right now, under the Glazers, it's just it's it's the debt. It's it's just a lot of things. It's a lot of things. So let me go back to what you said earlier. So you're a graphic designer. And obviously, you know, we know you're doing well because we see the work you're doing, let alone I've not never seen your bank balance, but I've seen the work you're doing. So I know you I know you do good, yeah. So okay, so I just want to put a scenario uh, and uh, and hopefully an analogy where people will understand. I think especially from where me and Afsal are coming from. So you're graph you're a graphic designer. Okay, so you got Banksy's graphic designs limited. Okay, so you're the you're the owner of that, yeah. So you've employed four people, like you said. Sometimes you can't do it physically. So now under your umbrella, you've 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 got four people. Yeah, with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the all graphic design. Okay. So your 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 job is graphic design. So you people are going to come to you, um, businesses. They say, all right, we need a website. We need whatever graphic design or work we need. We're going to come to you, Aki. Okay, brilliant. And you're the best in the world at this. But what you go and do, <clears throat> you go and employ Afsal, who's in finance. You go and employ me, who's in technology. Okay, so I know a little bit, but, you know. Um, you go and employ Joe Bloggs, um, who's uh, by trade is a, is a dentist. Okay, uh, and then the last person is just come out of school as a graphic designer, so he's not even going to college. He just come come out of school. <clears throat> so you get those four people on board. Okay, not only do you get them on board, <clears throat> every single one of them you've given them a, a Commodore sixty four to do their work on. Yeah, so now they're gonna do the work. Believe it or not, so people who don't know much about, you know, computers and work graphic design. So Commodore 64 was back in 1982, it came out. Um, so the internet was around, but it wasn't great. And obviously, uh, uh, it wasn't exactly a graphic design or thing. You could do some things, but, yeah. you know, you were never Okay. Who are you blaming when they can't deliver the work? Now, in isolation, you can say to me, Afsal, Joe Bloggs, uh, and the junior, that, yo, why aren't you doing it? Correct me if I'm wrong. You, okay, so, as an individual, you can say to me, your harps, why are you not, why are you not, you know, why aren't you got the time and effort in? Because I'll, I'll be like, yo, this is a Commodore 64, you can't even do graphic design. Or you'll be like, no, you can do some shit out of it. Yeah, do 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 the work. I'll be like, yo, I, I don't even, hey, I don't even know how to do it, but okay, you, you, you know, you've employed me and I need the money. I'm, I've got good wages here, like going back to our sales point earlier. You pay me a million pound. Yeah, I, I ain't going nowhere. Do you know what I mean? But then... Are you going to ask me of um, why I'm not producing the work or not? Okay, so the, the first thing I want to point out is uh, the, the, the difference between what you said and employed four people yeah. who want finance dentists and all these lot yeah. is the difference with the United was they employed a banker. They yeah. employed Woodward who knew how to make money, who was in the commercial side. He knew how to make money. He knew how to make the club money. Now, for me, a dentist won't know how to make money. Does that make sense? Yeah. 
But yeah. so he was also running the football club as well, the football side yeah. of things. Yeah. So he was picking and choosing the managers, and by all accounts, the players. He was even vetoing, even 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 Joe Glazer. Vetoing. Remember when the the stories came out that he wanted um um what's the name? Jose Mourinho wanted Marshall out, but he vetoed it because he liked him as a player. Yeah, but don't forget, have you? When was the last time you said Anthony Martial is the main man for Manchester United? He he's a player who's going to do great for this club. When was the last time you said that? Um, when 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 Louis Mangal signed him, and I saw potential, I was like, you know what, he needs to be the main striker. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. When Mourinho when did you over, give up on him? Mourinho. Mourinho. When Mourinho, yeah. So what? Mourinho. When did Mourinho leave? Two thousand eighteen. Was it two and a half years? Two thousand eighteen, nineteen. Was it? Seventeen. Yeah, I did yeah, eighteen. Yeah, eighteen. Yeah, eighteen. Yeah. Eighteen. So what's that? Five years, six years. And where's Anthony Martial? To the club. On yeah, our bench. Yeah, on the bench. So if the players. Injured. So the players that. So even if you look at today's starting eleven. The likes of, I think delau has been in question, but he signed a new contract. Victor Lindelof, I don't think anybody's ever put their hat on. Um, Harry Maguire, we all know the sketch. Um, what's his name as well? Scott McTominay. We've all said what we need to say as well on there. Marcus Rashford, people are saying, you know, shouldn't be at the club for how many years? And they're all still here. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, no, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, Aki. You, 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 you tell me. Do you want to repeat that again? Because I got a bit distracted on something. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Um, oh. Yeah. So sorry about that. <laughs> like I just said, see, you, you tell me um, where you know you, you've got Harry Maguire still here. Who I think we said last four or five years is not good enough. We've got um, Victor Lindelof. We've said last two or three years is not good enough. We've got Anthony Martial for the last past six years. But then, my question is, why are you expecting anything different on the pitch? Um, no, but the thing is, though, on the pitch, you got two hours. That's the thing. You got two hours to to give a performance. Yeah, you know I mean, but then at the same time, you've got you've literally got what? How many games? You got thirty eight games in the Premier League, yeah. Then you got extra games. Obviously, you got the Carabao Cup. You got FA Cup. They have a job to do on the pitch. They have a yeah. job to do on the pitch. They've got a job yeah, to but do so, on so, the pitch. So, so, your, so have your four designers. Why are they not coming up with the um, design? Get down. Get Riz down. has just come right. on. I think last minute, guys, as well. Riz, welcome. Um, where, where do we pick up from? Riz, we've, we've already spoken about the game as such because we've already said none of us expected it. And to be fair, the game went better than what you thought it was going to be. So you should be happy. Only I'm the one who should be unhappy because you said it was going to be 6 1 and I said five it was going one. to be uh, 5 1. So we, we lost 3 0. So it's still better the result than what you thought. Um, okay, so uh, I think it's two against two now. So Afsal's um, here with myself <laughs> and Aki's now with you. I'm sure Aki's probably sent you a message. Do we pull out some tag team championship No, no, no. He's not, he's he's not he's basically. No, no, but one, for, what, what, what the question was. What was the question? The question was, go. What? What? What's? What's? What's wrong? What? Why did you expect anything different? Because obviously we had a lot of conversations in the WhatsApp groups. Got heated. I think it's got heated for the last couple of couple of um, days. I don't know why. I don't know why that is. Because I think we all know the situation. Because everyone's frustrated, bro. Honestly, yeah, yeah, right? frustrated. Yeah. And it's not one problem. Well, the, there is an ultimate problem. Right, that we, I think we all agree on, even though we joke about in our WhatsApp group, right? But one which problem is that we can all which is out. agree on is glazes, right? That's the fundamental, no doubt. The only thing I say to this is in any walk of life, whether it's football, whether it's wherever you work, there's an element of professionalism that one has to adapt, right? You have to be a professional. And when you get onto that pitch, you've got a fight. And I don't see fighting these players, right? You can blame the Glazers. You know what? The environment they've created has sapped that out. 
or whatever you want to say, whoever wants to say it. For me, those players have got to take the ownership, have got to take the accountability when they step on that pitch. For me, it's not about if they're good enough. Right? I don't care if they're not good enough, right? Because they can only be as good as they can be, right? And the Glazers can only buy certain players that are shit, they're not good enough, right? That's on the Glazers. Shit in the sense of fitting a system the manager wants is, is very sporadically built up squad over the last five managers. However, no matter what, <clears throat> I want to see fight. I want to see you working hard. I want to see you getting back. I want to see you covering every blade of grass. And that's what I don't see with these players. And that part of it is on the players that step out on the pitch. That's what I'm saying. You know, no. they, it's, on, it's on them. That is, the accountability today was on them and on Ten Hag and her coaching team. The setup, the players, everything yeah. was on him today. So, Riz, I've asked uh, Aki the same question, so I'll, I'll ask you as well. So, you want the Glazers out, you said, yeah? Yeah, 100%. Why do you want the Glazers out? Because of the mess we're in. Ultimately, like I said at the beginning of what I was saying, ultimately, the overarching problem is the Glazers. Yeah, but the why over- Why the Glazers? Give, give, give me the reasons why it's the Glazers. You're saying overall mess, but yeah, give, yeah, me the, give me the, the, yeah, yeah. The, the reasons why, right? Yeah. They don't know how to run a football club. They don't know how to structure a football club. They've got mates, right? Yes, men in positions that are there to to, to make them happy, not tell them the brutal truth. They don't empower the people that are specialists in their jobs to do the jobs. They don't hire the specialists in their jobs to do the jobs, the best of the best, right? And I know there's a lot of Twitter love for Murtoff, right? Frankly speaking, he was head of performance or something like that at Everton Football Club. That's where we got him from. Manchester United Football Club have a sporting director or a football director from Everton Football Club who was never a football director beforehand, right? That's one example. So the way they running the football club and the way they've set it up is fundamentally set up to fail, right? And the reason they're doing that is because they've wanted to, the money's dried up now, they wanted to milk every penny out of our football club. And if they sacrificed the players and they sacrificed what the manager wanted, you know, so be it. And as a as a result of them running the football club that way with wrong men and yes men in the positions, what's happened is over the last four managers, maybe not four, maybe three managers, we've got a squad set up of three completely different styles of play trying to conform to a style of play that our manager wants to play. And what Aki was saying before, there is no chance in hell that Eric Ten Hag is sat there at the beginning of the game and at half time telling the players, you know what, go out and play shit. You know, go out and and, 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 and don't fight for the ball. He's clearly giving them instructions. We've clearly seen the type of football he wants to play, like he embedded at Ajax. These players are incapable of following instructions because they don't care. So the reason the squad is the way it is, is because of the Glazers for the reason I've explained. But despite that, for me, those players, when they go on the pitch, have got to show more fight. I'm not saying win the game, so let me, let me be clear. I wasn't expecting us to win the game. I just wanted us to have more heart and more fight. That's all I'm saying. So my question to Aki was as well, because, you know, he's a, he's a um, graphic designer. And yeah. what we said is, you know, he's... You know, we know he's good because we see the work that he does, um, especially with our digital print and the websites and things like that. So yeah. he's good at what he does, does yeah. Okay. And um, so he has to, so people are coming to him. He's the world-class leader in this job. He has to now employ four people because obviously his workloads come and he needs more people on the ground. But what, what, what Aki does is he employs four people one person he, he um, employs is Afsal, who's in finance. He employs me, who, who I'm in technology. He employs Joe Bloggs, who's in, we, we use dental, but let's just use medical care. And then he, he, he employs Dave, who's just left school as a, as a graphic designer, but he's just left school. Okay. And what he does, I'm going to, I'm going to upgrade here as well, Aki, so all the people who listened to earlier, he gives all four of them the original Mac to design these websites and the graphic work. The original Mac, which I think yeah, was yeah. late late eighties, early nineties. Yeah, something like that. And he's got to produce the work up to date 
AI banging, because don't forget, that's what we're now expecting, chatbots, AI, all that in, in it, yeah? Do you think the work can be done? No, no, and that's why I said that. That's why. But, but who do you? But who do you blame, Riz? Are you blaming Akil, or are you blaming me, Avsol, Joe Blogs, and Dave? Ultimately, it's Akil. Like I said as well, I did say I said the ultimate problem is the Glazers, right? Ultimate problem is the Glazers. But Dave needs to come in and he needs to work his ass off every day. How do you know? Well, well, but he's working his ass off, but he's got uh, the original Mac. No, now you're expecting you're pitch. expect yeah yeah you're expecting AI stuff out of him. No 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 you're then you misunderstand what I'm saying. And what I'm not saying is that he must produce world class performance at work because the tools he's got are substandard, mm -hmm. right? But he can show work ethic. If he's coming but, in, and he's going Riz, on, his, he's going, going to sit on the toilet, Riz, you, take a you dump, worked. and going through his TikTok every Riz, five minutes, Riz, going to make work. a coffee every other five minutes. Yeah, Riz, you work, you you work, and I, I know obviously you, you know you're successful in your job as well. So to get where you've got to, you've had to do things what you've got to do. Exactly. Well, your pride in certain times of your career, in certain things that your boss wants you to do that you don't want to do. If you want to progress, you have to graft. You have to you, do the shit that you don't want want to do. Right. You've got to graft. Yeah, are not doing that. Yeah, hundred percent. So you you got people who work for you as well. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. But then they either I'm going to assume here because I've never directly had a conversation with you, but I'm going to you know assume because of the you know similar kind of stuff that happens in my workplace is if people get bewildered, they get lost, they don't know the direction the company's going in. The organization's going in. A new CEO, yeah. somebody else comes in the pool. First, they were saying this is the the future plan. It's happened. Then somebody it's else happened. comes. You boys know that's happened at my. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. I'm just talking generally because I'm going to assume this happens at 99% of places. Yeah. People get lost. People don't understand. They'll they'll turn up on time. Okay, they'll they'll come, but will they will they still have the same graft? Yeah, I'll tell you why. And my team does because I lead them right. Okay. So you lead yeah. your team right, yeah? I, I, yeah, I do. I make so sure you, each, so one, you... each and every single one of them knows yeah. what their job is, knows what they're doing, to ignore the noise, yeah? Focus mm -hmm. on the work, keep an environment that is one of a family, right? You've got to create that environment that you, it's you against the world. And yeah. that's what I've created, us against the world. And do you know what? what? They work head over heels for one another. They've got each other's backs. You know, they know there's shit going on around, but, you know, we've fostered an environment, I've fostered an environment with them. So I've got a team that is in total 232, okay? Mm -hmm. Total size of the team. I've got five direct reports, yeah? My direct reports, I have my one-on-ones with them in what you have every week, and obviously every day you speak to them. Every month I have a skip level. It's I that have embedded it. It's not a company culture. It's not a company embedded. I skip my line, my my, my reportee, and go to his direct reports for each one of those five. Yeah, and we have a confidential conversation. I know what's going on down the down the chain. I know what these guys are thinking of. I know the trouble that's brewing, and I take the steps. I've had EA, of course, we're using her uh, with, to help me out. I take the steps to 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 sort of kick out any kinks coming in. That's on me. That's on the leader. That's on the coaching setup. Yeah, that's on us. But but you're not the coach. Sorry, you're not the coach. I am the coach. You're I'm the, the coach of my team. You, you're the chief of your area, aren't you? Yeah, I'm the CDO. I'm the chief digital C officer, but I'm the coach of the digital team. But you got five directs. Yeah, so I've and got, got I, I, and then so they got, got people underneath. Yes, I've got Steve yeah. McLaren under me. I've got a goalkeeping coach under me. I've got a Benny McCarthy under me. I've got all of these boys. And then you've got the players underneath you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. In your line of work, okay, if somebody's not pulling their weight, what happens? First thing I do, me now, as a, as, as a manager, forget your work. What's going on in your life, boys? How's family? It's the first question I ask. Understand a human being. They're not robots. Understand a human being. Understand what's going on with them. Tell them the direction you're trying to go in. Tell them, you know, how their personal life could affect the work and how to give them as much advice as I can to, you know, deal with it. But of course, there comes a time where there's certain people you just not, you just can't deal with and you have to get rid. But what happens when you're not allowed to get rid of them? And they foster their negativity within the, because there's a reason why you've got to get rid of them. But they're just not allowed to get rid of. And I and I'll go and I'll tell you where I'm going with this because 
I'll do what I've done with uh, what what Ten Hag's done with Sancho. Yeah, Anthony Martial. Even even Anthony Martial. I think I asked Aki the question as well. When was the last? When was the when was the point where you says this guy isn't the guy for Manchester United? For me, it was the season Mourinho was there. Yeah, I think same as Aki as well. I think it was. Yeah, I think same, the last same. season he was there. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was about Both 2018. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 2018, 2019. But the man's still there today. On the yeah. bench, do you know what I mean? But where we get into, it's like I've always said: these players might not be good enough, hundred and ten percent. Do you know what I mean? They well, might they not still be good have enough. to perform on the pitch, so that's the yeah. Thing. They have to go on. They, they, they still have to go on. You got two hours. You got yeah. You got, okay. So but, 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 Monday, but the, Tuesday, but the, Wednesday, Harps. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. How many days they do? They go on the training on the in Camington. They train. Now, so why, why do, but the question is, but, the, but my question goes back to the, the, the bit I can't understand, you see, the bit I can't, we all want Glazers out, but why do we want the Glazers out? Okay, take Glazers out because, for a second. Because if, no, 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 take I can't, Glazers I can't, out no, for a Aki, second. I can't no, no, no. take them out, I can't take them out, this is where I, this is where I, no, no, Aki, this is where I can't, this is where I can't grasp it, because first you're saying to me, the head, because as we all know, it comes from the top down to the bottom, yeah, and it's been 18 years here. And um, we're all sat here, and and this is what I'm. Why do if if it's just the players? No, yeah, it's not just the players. No, no, though. but this is what you're saying because you're saying what is the no, last no, no, two? No, 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 that's not what I'm saying, bro. But what, no, both you're saying is two hours a day. If you listen back to what I said, if you listen yeah, yeah. back to what I said, I said but the fundamental say, problem but the, but the, is the Glazers, but the, but the, and I, I gave the reason why that's the fundamental yeah, yeah. problem. So what, right? So, so how can you? Because so each department has got to take its own accountability. You're a fucking grown ass man. That's what they are. The grown ass men. Take the we, fucking initiative, you daft. But obviously, but it's obviously fairy. not happening. It's not happening. So exactly. let's 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 okay, let's bring wanna, out. Oh, okay. Have, for the last eleven Blazers, years, for the last eleven years. No, but the last eleven years. Mention, how many players have we had? Hubs, how many players have Blazers, we had? Hubs, how you you want to mention the Glazers? Let's put it this way, yeah. So if if in Carrington they're not performing, yeah, everything hug, yeah, is not gonna go call Joe Glazer, and say yo, speak to the players. How do you call. know he hasn't? How no, do you know no, he no. said? How do you I'm know he said? Saying, he, I don't want Anthony Martial here. How do you know he said? I don't want him here. But he's going to he said there. that. Of course he said that, and of course he's still he, there. Of course. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, I was saying, of course he said that. I, I, I tell you what, he said Marshall, I don't want Marshall, I don't want Maguire, I don't want McTominay. He said a number of players. Of course, we know he said that, right? And we know the Glazers are not getting rid of them, right? So, big part in Glazers' fault, right? Now, here's the thing that I want to ask. How many players want to be there? Do you think the signings he made wants to be there? How do we know that he's made the signings? That's the other question I want to ask as well. Can I just jump well, we in well, 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 we don't know for a matter of fact because we're not got a, a, a fly on the wall in those conversations. The, the, the reason, got, why, I, what, the reason your, why I asked that question... Your, what, the you, reason let me answer I asked the question, bro. Let me answer okay, the question, you, right? you just you answered, you said your, you don't know. You, you said you don't know. You no, said no. Use your initiative. You I don't, don't answer know. the question no, because you wanted me to answer a certain part of the question and okay. you wanted to intersect and take it a different direction. I'm not going to let that happen. I'm going to okay. So okay. So let no, me finish what was my it? answer. My so what was the question? Very simple. What was the my question? How do we know that this whether guy they signed the players? Has clearly brought in players that have played for him. He's clearly brought in players. Anthony, he clearly wanted him. Martinez clearly wanted him. Sofian Amrabat clearly wanted him. Those are three players I can I can be pretty sure he's brought in, right? Pretty sure he's brought in. Okay, so that's how many players is he brought in? In my opinion, he's brought in three players that he wants. So three players that he's yeah. brought in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of how many signings he had? What, 11, 12? I don't know. Let's name them. They're the three signings he's made, right? You've also got Hodgland. I don't think Hodgland was his first choice. I think he was, Second in choice. addition to a first choice he wanted. Yeah. That's yeah. my opinion, right? I think he wanted Hodgland. But I think he wanted him in addition to a main striker, right? So I don't think it's somebody else's choice. And we heard a number of no reports how true they are, how, how untrue they are, God knows, in the summer, that there's concerns with big ears that Eric Ten Hag's got too much control and he's bringing, he's had too much saves on the players that he wants to do. That's not a problem for me, right? That's it, it, in, in, in our environment where we don't have a football director, back the manager you got, give him the players he got. Glazers are not doing that. Clearly, that's why we are not going to win. So, let, so, so, 
so let me just show, um, let... use an individual in-game performance. You're playing a derby. So we, let me just name the name the players. And bearing in mind, this is Manchester United. Sergio Reguilon, loan. Yeah. Sofian Amrabat. Yeah, that, that, that was an emergency. Don't think that loan. Yeah. Loan. Bayern there, 5 million euros. And this is by transfermarket.co.uk. Sorry, I'd, li I'd like to try Onana. That was his choice. Yeah, yeah. So oh. Rasmus Hoyland, Onana, Johnny Evans, Mason Mount, Marcel Sabitzer. Mount was Weg his Weg choice. Weg Weggles. Um, Jack Butland, Martin Dubravka, Anthony, Casemiro, Licha Martinez, Christian Eriksen, Tyro Malassia. Okay, so let's go through all that list and let's see what was realistically his push and what wasn't. Yeah, But we don't let's know the answer get... to that. We don't know the answer no, no. to that. No, no, like you said, we, there's I, no fly I, on the wall. Yeah, but I can be pretty sure. I can I can give you a very good educated guess what was be, definitely but, but, then, Because you said because the players that had played with him. But don't forget, players who'd played with him done well was Van, Donny van der Beek. No. By all accounts, he doesn't no, want he's him. Already he there, never bro. plays him. Yeah, that's <laughs> he's what I mean. There. Then that's what I mean. But he doesn't want to play him. But do you know what I mean? Is he's he tried. He's, tried, he's, he's, tried he to, he's been fit. Has he? Because I've not seen yeah. him on the bench for God knows how many weeks. Yeah, he's, so I don't he's, think there's, he's no, fit. there's no injury. There's no injury to him. He's just not he's being shocked. chosen. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. He's not. He's just not being chosen to play. I don't know. I've not heard. I've but not heard anyone asking about that in any interview. So I've not heard him give an answer. I can't be too sure of that. But the overall but wasn't question signing. goes. But the overall question goes back to, who's made? Okay, even if it's Eric Tenag, <clears throat> I'll blame Eric Tenag. And, and today he made some fucked up mistakes as well. And he's probably been doing it all season. Okay, let let's let's make that clear as well. Do you know what I mean? But again, then, who's allowing him to make those mistakes? Who's picking and choosing these managers and players, and bringing them to our club, Manchester United? I'll tell you. I'll tell you who. <clears throat> I'll tell you who, and I said it already. I said you've got incompetent people that are not qualified to do the job in roles that are empowered to make such decisions, which predominantly, predominantly is Murtoff. I think he's cancerous to our business, to our to, 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 to Manchester United Football Club. I'll tell you what the biggest problem actually you've got is he went and hired Raniak, didn't he? Right? It was all made out as if this is a um choice Mur 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 Murtoff, right? Yeah. Murtoff madness, as they say. Wasn't either one that also sacked him because he came out with some home truths. Mm. Right? That's the guy that you got there. So you got an egotistical prick, right? That's never been a football director at any football club of any note, of any football club of any kind of note, actually, in his career. His head of elite performance or something like that was his title at Fucking Everton. Anything, it's anything but at United. Elite performance. Yeah, exactly. Well, exactly. Right. So I used to think, you know what, maybe he's got a chance at the youth team. But, you know, I'm done with that as well. I think it just needs a complete clear out. When Qatar's in, that's what will happen, boys. Right. So ultimately, I agree with you without a shadow of a doubt. The ultimate problem, all the problems that we've got right now, resonate from the glazes all i'm saying right is you have to put some blame on the players as well in certain performances Rick, can I just ask you a question? yeah i'm sorry go on sorry yeah go on so obviously yeah we're not saying that the players and the manager are absolved of that blame oh that's good to know because that's the first time i've heard you say that but go on no i, I blamed them earlier today okay, uh, just before you jumped on and, you know, I'll continue to blame them. But my point was, obviously, we've, you know, for 11 years now, we've blamed players. We've sold players. We've bought new players. We've blamed a manager. We've sacked a manager. We've bought a new manager. And then the cycle is rinse and repeat, right? But my question to you is, obviously, you're a CDO, and I'm just going to throw a scenario out there. So in your workplace, do you reward mediocrity? Of course not. Exactly, because you want the best, whereas mm -hmm. the Glazer family have rewarded mediocrity 100%. in terms of the 350 Contract. that Rashford's on, the, yep. the, you know, and in their minds, whatever they do on the pitch doesn't matter because it's 100 million, for example, to pay out Marcus Rashford, but 100%. Look, it's only 15 million to get rid of all of Eric Ten Hag and his staff, 100%. so it is that deflection. 100%, mm -hmm. I don't again, disagree don't with that. don't reward mediocrity. No one's disputing that at all. I'm not disputing that. I just, I 100% agree with you on that. 
Despite but then you, that, you, what I'm saying, no, despite what I'm saying is when a player pulls on that badge on that chest and he steps on the pitch, give it your all. That's all I'm saying. Despite the noise, you're professional. You're paid the millions to be a professional. Give it your all. That's all I'm can I, saying. Can, can, can I just jump in here? Yeah, go on. Yeah. Hi, guys. Hope all is well. Sorry if I'm a little bit late to the party. I'm just uh, on my way back from Old Trafford. Very, very disappointing uh, afternoon. Just want to add to what Riz has just said there. You guys are putting so much emphasis around the culture, the toxicity behind the club and the players, the management, the guidance, the structure, the leadership and all these things. And then what you're doing is you're looking at different comparisons to talk about what would you do in this scenario? What would you do in this scenario? And different hypothetical scenarios. I was watching that game today. Let's just forget everything else. Today, I sat there in my seat and I watched Marcus Rashford for 90 minutes and all I did, I was glued to him. And I've never in my life, can't believe a guy as chiseled as him, as fit as him, and as, you know, all the, all the sort of like top aspects. Let's just talk about FIFA character, FIFA sort of ratings. I'm talking 80s, 90s, he's got it all. Pace, power, all of it, stamina, open. The guy is disinterested. He doesn't want to perform for that club. He looks afraid, he looks scared. And you know what? He is the most fragile player in our team. He is so weak. He is a disgrace. When he puts on that jersey, it's disgraceful. And you know what? I'm also going to talk about Bruno Fernandes. Because you know what? Today, he didn't just go missing. He was he was absolutely hiding in fear. He got slapped up in midfield. He got slapped up every time he had the ball. He lost the ball. He was a waste of space. And that's my, my point, Ted. Tedge, that's my point, bro, right? Yeah. That's my point. My point is, yes, ultimately, everything, all roads lead to them parasites, the owners. Yeah, and they need to go. And until they go, even if we... Let me put it another way. Even if we bought Mbappe, we wouldn't win Jack with them in charge. I totally agree with that. But to Tedge's point right now, the players that are there, especially the homegrown players, show you care, man. Show that you flip in care about the derby. You've grown up a Manchester lad. That's Riz, you sound you, you 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 sound quite fed up, and and I think majority of the fans are quite fed up. Yeah, well, of course. Yeah. Right. Look, so look, and don't forget, I, this is their don't, don't forget, this is their work day. This is their day job. They have to go there. They see day in day. We can we can divorce ourselves from this, but they're gonna go in there. Now I've heard people turn around and say, "Oh, why don't you just leave then? Oh, why don't you just leave then?" Okay. Well, there's two things there. If I was Marx Rashford and if anybody says different, I'd question their loyalty to Manchester United. If I'm playing for my dream club, Manchester United, and they're paying me a very good wage here, bear in mind, yeah? They're paying me a very good wage. Probably won't get it anywhere else. And it's my dream, and it's my um, club that I've supported. I'm not leaving. Yeah. Especially, if they, especially if the owners are giving me the money and playing. Okay. What's, that, what's that got to do with him working hard? What's that no, that's to do what I was going to come on to, and, and you pitched it perfectly yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because if it's yeah. a dream club, you yeah. need to work hard. Because if yeah. you're not working hard, it ain't your dream club. But, but 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 then also, you as fans, as supporters, should be supporting your club. And yeah, I but, you're not, but, you're, but you're not. But you're not. But you're not. All you do is a bitch, a bitch and moan. The whole point is no. The, because I don't think. No, 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 no. Riz, Riz, no, no. Riz, let me ask you a question. Whole, Riz, point, let me ask. The whole question, point of the fans is to have, have their this. opinion. Simple as Riz, that. Riz, let me understand. Let me ask you a question. You've got children. Yeah. Yes. Yep. And your son, does he play football? Yes. Is he? Is is he? Is he at an academy? He. One of them is. Yeah. One of them is. Yeah. Okay. The one who isn't. Is he at an academy? The one who is. And... No, the one who isn't. Yeah. Is he? At... So he's not at an academy. The one who isn't. No. Okay. No, he isn't. Okay. So you know, probably that boy now. He's probably probably not gonna make it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what do you do to him? Do you bitch at him? What the f are you doing? Why aren't you this? Why aren't you good enough? Or do you say, you know what? <laughs> no, 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 please. No, let me, let me. No, no, no. It's not. It's not. Con it's not out of context <laughs> it at all. It's it not at all. Because do you sorry, support him? Do you support him? 
Uh, yeah, I support him. Yeah, you support, how do you support him? Do you bitch and moan, go to everybody and have your opinion? Say, my son, this or that, the other. Or do you say to him, Charlie, you know what? Nah, you know what? We're, that, not, that, we're not all that, footballers. That, no, that, I was, a, a, I, I, I was a professional stupid, footballer. Uh, context, how is it? Bro, why, why is it? Because they're not my fucking kids, mate. Okay, they're so what's the support? No, no, I'm talking about your club. I'm talking about your club. I'm talking about your club. To play what they love. And if they can't, I tell you what, my son was a grown-ass man. And Yo, Ted, work, Ted, and if fuck was, up if your twat if you don't want to be here, yeah? You know, Go fuck up your nub at his work, you know, not yeah. putting the draft in. I would there, have a there is yes, no comparison. A Ted, that's you're right, a fucking content. dickhead because you don't turn up to places. You last minute dot com, yeah? Turn around and even when you used to play football, um, last minute um, drop out. Oh, this has happened. This has happened. Oh, this has gone on, yeah? So when you talk about discipline, yeah, people putting effort in. Anybody, anybody that knows you who's played football with you, yeah, I have, and other people who back me up as well on this. You're the most ill-disciplined player, won't trap back and things like that. So when you talk about ill-discipline, yeah, you're the one person who cannot talk about it. So coming yeah? back to the point so when about, you went, about my about when kids, you come right? Out my kid, shit, if, yeah? my, if my kids are so grown ass why, man and he's yeah? going to work and he's on a top salary and he's not putting the graft in, I'll give him up my mind, of course I will. Yeah, when he's when he's a twelve year old kid, no, I'm not gonna. <laughs> you know, it's the wrong context you're using completely. I get the point you're trying to do, but you got to use the right context, bro. Use no, the the wrong wrong context. context. There's all yeah. context. Yeah. You are. There's all I'm context. I'm supporting right? my football club, right? I'm unhappy. With the glazers, as then you said the glazers, is, you said, but you right? want the glazers every out, is, so you want the glazers what out. This I am is, again, I still you, also you, about it's, is it's still contradicting because you're saying the that, they, the they, that they want the glazers out, they're not performing, the but you still want the players, you, you know want the players what? to perform. The oh, that's the bit I don't get. That's the bit I don't get. The players aren't good enough, the players aren't good enough, especially on the significance of the child and death. I don't get it. He's running in a row, these guys have fucking disrespected him, frankly. They have disrespected second. Sir Bobby Charlton. At least have the decency, right? Riz, right. every other no, game um, you can do what you want. 2008, 2008, the 50, the 50 years of uh, um, the, uh, the Munich the, disaster. The what, what was the performance? That was given what was the performance? On Tuesday. Riz, simple question. These players don't 2008, give a damn's rap 2008, off, right? They 2008, don't 50 years, Munich air disaster. Off. These players the anniversary, are a bunch what was the score? of wasters, right? They've not got what was the, the mental score? strength to be able to play for Manchester United. And what was yes, the score? You know what? Was what? The score, Riz? The for what was the score, Riz? Riz, what was the, the score? The, the, the team with the, the mentality. You've got to play, you Yo, got to play proper guys, football. What was you the got mentality? To play hard. you got to play like 2008, you your heart on your they never you won anything. 2014, after Alex you know Ferguson what? left, these, the players left. The, the monster that. mentality these that Riz talks about, those same players, those same fairies, players finished right? seventh. Oh, the same Marcus monster Marcus mentality too, because you know, there was nothing wrong with it. Yeah, he so he kept going on. Do you know what? It's gonna hurt his little legs. Because these monster players, these monster players, gonna moan, he's gonna groan, he's gonna put this face on like it's been slapped by a fish. That that attitude it just sucks, man. Just have a bit of like if you're the monster mental, players of two thousand and fourteen, the years is, finished before, the finished seventh that, with the likes right? of Ryan Giggs and in the squad. This, this is an ass. Do you, this do is you know, guys know? Do you guys know this is ultimately the players have got to play when shots? they come on the pitch. Do you, do you guys know how many shots? Do you guys know how many shots we registered today? Mate, no one gives a fuck what you got to say. No, do you know how many shots we registered today? Can I just no forget the fact yeah. that how many shots were registered? The stats don't mean jack because in reality we were you know there's not levels between us and Man City. There's not worlds. There's fucking galaxies. All right, they all right, are I'm in sorry, a different stratosphere. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I so the stats don't matter. Can right, I, guys, can I just say, guys, guys, can I just this is not going to improve. This is not going to improve until the Glazers leave. That I agree. Hundred percent. Yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah. Guys, got a question. The point is, despite that. Said, when you step on a pitch for Man United, you've got to work hard. That's my point. Especially exactly. on a day, especially on a day like today, boys. It's a Bobby Charlton. Two thousand and eight, right? Riz. You're just, you, you're you've just that. You just said it. You just said it. Two thousand and eight, the fifty years of Munich air disaster. This monster mentality. The team that won the European Cup. Yeah, that was fifty years. What was it? And that was against City as well. What was the score? No, but you know what? We lost. We lost. No, no, what was two games in a row. What was we the lost. score? You know, so players can lose. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The, the, the occasion can get to people. So maybe it got to them, like it did that 2008 team. Okay, that's fine. That's yeah. Fair and point. what happened? And what happened to that team that finished 12 points in 2013 under Ferguson? The same players the following year finished seventh. 
Yeah, why, why what is that happened, happening? What happened opinion? to the monster mentality? What, what do you think happened to that? The whole structure, the whole um, people, the, the, the likes of the coaching staff that we all talked about had gone. You brought Ed Woodward, you brought the, the fostered in the environment, even Rio Ferdinand, little things, just the smallest yeah. things. Just so, the smallest so, so, things, like you said, saying, like you said yeah. the, the stop doing chips, as stupid it sounds, Rio, go back to it. It's not me saying it, Rio Ferdinand saying it. It stopped having chips. They weren't allowed to have chips. Yeah, so Just, wrong people it's, it's, in wrong roles. It's, it's, it's like wrong, I said before at the beginning, bit. yeah, which we keep sidestepping. I said, ultimately, the problem is the Glazers. They've got wrong people in the wrong roles doing the job that we should have best in class doing, right? Aki, All sorry. those roles lead to the fuck-up that we've got, right? Despite that, even even in those, this this team right now, is giving me vibes as to the worst attitude I've seen in the last 11 years. They just don't give a damn. Aki, your question, sorry, mate. Yeah, right. So I've got a question for Absal and uh, Harps. I mean, whatever. So before the match started today, yeah, uh, one of you, Absal Harps, you're the manager. Yeah. Before the game, what's your team talk? Abs, I'll go on. You can answer it. I can answer it, but you answer it. I would have said, listen, lads, it's the fucking Manchester derby. We owe this to Sir Bobby. We owe this to our fucking selves. Let's go out there and do this. Yeah, look, they might be worlds ahead of us, like I said. But look, let's put a shift in. Let's do something. And I'm not, again, I am not absolving the players of this. Okay, the players have at times not put shifts in and I've called them out for that. But my point is, like, I get why, and I'm not no, going to no, say... No, 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 absolutely one second. So, now, it's half time. We're losing one deal. All right, go for it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, again, what's the team talk? One nil down, penalty. Uh, it was a substandard half. Well below par. I would have said, what the fuck are you doing? What, what's going on? Like, we've had chances. We've had opportunities. Marcus, why are you not looking up? Why are you not making the pass? You know, Rasmus, what are you doing? Like, come on, lad. We, you know, we had chances. Why don't you early on? Why, 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 why don't you, you say, know? right, Rashford? You ain't making the chances. Get your ass off here, Garnacho. Get on, lad. Show yeah, us what so, you got. So, so, so now, so now, let me just finish the question off. So it's full time. We've lost. What is what? What's your, your talk? I'd be pissed. I'd be throwing shit. Maybe not a boot or a hairdryer, but I'd be throwing shit. Because now, end of the day. Look, this is the Manchester. This is one of the biggest games in football. Now, my point here is performance of the, of the players are their fault, not the Glazers. Does that make sense? One hundred percent agree. Yeah, Aki. Agree. More question to you then, Aki. More question to you then. Yeah, yeah let, I think Afsal's answered. So either you or is. So two thousand and eight, fifty years, the anniversary. Yeah, Munich air disaster. We're playing Man City. Yeah, what do you think Ferguson said to his players before the game? You know what? I'll answer this right. Same things that Arsenal just said that Tan Hag would have said. Ferg would probably have thrown a boot as well, right? However, here's the key difference. Back then, that was a one-off game. In and around that games, so we were blasting teams away. Right? Even City have had a one-off game. Wolverhampton was it, or was that Liverpool? I don't know. One of them lost to Wolves, right? Uh, they've lost to the loss to someone unexpected. It can happen. What we're seeing with this team, so it can happen. Is so it can happen. Ne, 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 no, 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 no. I'll let you carry on, Bruce. Oh, you, no, say, no, no, no. You, you never answered. Seriously, I'm not. No, 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 no. Let me move on. Let him finish. You move on. Like a fucking Janani, bro. Let me let him land. What you on about, Bruce? You move on. Fucking Janani in the air, like a fucking. Canary I don't know your are Janani. Mine's not like that. Oh, 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 so you like bought Sir Bobby up. That's what I'm trying to say to you. You bought Sir Bobby up. So Sir Bobby, you should have done it today. But what I'm trying to say to you, it doesn't have to matter about the occasion because even when we had monster mentality, they also lost. So you brought that comparison up. That's what I'm doing directly. No, yes. Bro, the point, the what point you're saying is, is what you're saying is, the players aren't good enough. This is just one-off game. 
Yeah, exactly. The players what, what, what I'm trying to say, the context of what I'm trying to say is you've been shit every game this season, at least yeah. rising for one game. Whereas back then, they were amazing in every game apart from that one game. It was the opposite, right? No, at least mean for came. one damn game, raise your flipping standards, raise your pride. That's what, what I'm trying to say. Right? I suppose do it in this game, right? Well, I suppose Maybe you want to compare well, this one you, game but... to 2008 as well, fair enough. But what well, about well, every well, other well, game you... in 2008 that we did, that well, we played well in? Right? We won the Champions you... League in 2008, but every yeah. game this season, we've been shit. The reason why I brought it up, because you've done the direct comparison, because it's Sir Bobby. And the yeah, only other one I've just given you the context yeah, yeah. right and now. And that's what right? I mean. I'm... Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's the only reason I'll give you context as well. So, what I'm talking about is the occasion, yeah? What so, Riz, Riz what, what I'm asking my question to you, your question to you, Riz, is why are you expecting anything from these players when in the last 11 years, bear in mind, it's not the same players, in the last 11 years, they've let you down? Because last year they were in a title race for yeah. quadruple as well. Because last these year. players. These players have thrown every manager under the bus. It's been these players, right? Just when you have a little bit of hope, like last season, there was significant improvement from the season before, and they've gone and throw in Ten Hag under the bus again. What right? you, Harb, so my question is, from last season, a positive finish, what changed from last season to this season? What, why the playing shit? My prediction at the beginning of this season was, as I said, if they bring in Harry Kane... Um, if we can get replace Maguire, we can bring in no, a no, top no, defender. No. Which... Why are the players right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to answer that question then. Yeah, yeah, I'm answering that question. So, we all as fans, we wanted Harry Kane. Riz, I think we, I think you even on spaces, you was quite adamant that he's probably going to come. We wanted him. Yeah. Um, we thought we were going to get Kim Min Jae. That looked quite quite done. And I think finally we thought we was going to get a a bad boy midfielder. That was kind of what was lacking last season. We as fans, because again, you, these are the ex-players saying the things that I'm about to say now as well. We as fans, by the time the 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 key seasons kick started, none of that happened. We were deflated, and even the ex-players, they say they feel when even even in the dressing room when that shit happens, they feel exactly the same. And again, I can only talk about our club because I don't, you know, I can only talk about our club when Fergie left in 2013. And Rio Ferdinand, big talks on this. The shit that went on in that in the background that we weren't privy to, yeah, got them from finishing first with 12 points. And all the shit that happened in the background, they ended up finishing seventh that season. So there's things, what I'm trying to say to you, ultimately the players might, even that, even that season proves to me it's not just the players. Because those players won by 12 points. So other yeah, things but... happened in the background. Now, I get what you're saying, Riz, because they've proved it before. I get it, yeah. 100%, 100%. But my argument to that is now, how do we know, if those same players who proved it under Fergie's regime and that, that structure that we had, if they can finish first and soon as that's been taken away from them and they finish seventh, yeah, how do we know these players without the right structure aren't good enough? Because they've consistently shown it over the last 11 years. That's over why. shit, but over shit structure. And that's why we want that, and that's why we want the. Glazers. Do we not agree that 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 the coaching structure that Tan Hag's got is mm. probably good? Uh, I would I'd assume so. Yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah. what you got to answer to. It was the the biggest structure that changed. Yeah, I know Ed Woodward changed, as well as David Gill and Ferguson leaving at the same time. There was a new manager and a new CEO coming in eleven years ago. So from that one season to the next, there's a massive change, right? And yeah, you don't have to agree to this, but in my opinion, I think that this, the biggest mistake David Moyes did was brought in substandard staff, yeah. got rid of champions elect staff, got right? Therefore, I had a shit chat, uh, 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 coaching setup. And I've heard yeah. also Rio Ferdinand say how shit it was, right? Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's that one season. I can understand that you've gone from literally world class levels to, to Everton levels. No disrespect yeah. to Everton fans, right? Then what you've now got. I would assume, is a good setup under Eric Tan Hag. I wanted him. I was desperate for him as the manager. I think most of us did. There was a split between him and Pochettino. I get it. But, you know, we were all quite happy when when he came in. So you've got to assume, I'm assuming, that his coaching setup is right and spot on. So now what's the excuse for the players? Because the players don't interact, I would assume, with flipping glazers. Um, so you, talk, you talked about David Gill as well there, who's a massive loss. So mm -hmm. even yeah, so even if you remember um, 
remember um oh what's his name the arsenal ceo when he left david something he was there with um wenger david, david dean. dean david, david dean. dean soon as david dean left and he's only the ceo you saw the yeah. drop off in that club do you know what yeah, let me just yeah so what, I'm, what i'm trying I to agree. say to you Reece, what i'm trying to say to you, even if you compare um ajax as well now obviously yeah, yeah. players totally loads increased. of players whilst whilst um over mars and van der sar and eric tenag were there the three four years they were together loads of players been and gone yeah now the relegation gone. right now the relegation because, because, because it's not I'm just totally one agree. thing it's not just one thing it's the yeah. whole thing behind it that's gone I as well totally agree i totally agree and that's why i say it to you ultimately it's the glazers wrong men in wrong roles Above the footballing side, you've got wrong. Uh, well, actually, ten, you could argue, t apart from the sporting side, physical sporting side, the coaches and the players, everyone else above them is a bunch of numpties, right? So here's the thing, Ten. Uh, here's the thing. Let's say when Qatar buyers, not if when Qatar buyers, they're bringing the best of the best around the whole place. I still don't want these stupid players. That have got mopey attitudes around the club at that time. I don't care if they can do it. I want them out because, you know what? In life, forget football for a minute. In life, the the show of true character and a true person is when they are at their lowest, when the backs are against the wall. That shows you who you really are, who the person really is. Right? Shows you who your mates are. Shows you who's there for you, who's not there for you. Shows you who you are as a human being. And these players, when the backs are against the wall, can't cut it for me. So even when the new structure comes in, even if these players are able to cut it, I don't want them to cut it at our club. I want the new players to come in that the manager wants, and I want them to be the one, along with the new ownership, along with the new management setup, to do it. Because you know what? These players, these players don't deserve to win the Premier League with Manchester United for me. They don't deserve to win the Champions League for my United because... When our backs were against the wall, they fucking went a wall. That's my perspective on these players. Don't care if they can do it under a management. Don't want them to do it under that right management. I want them out because you do it when your backs are against the wall. Go on, Akil. Sorry, you asked me to um, pause. Yeah, Taj, do you want to tell your piece? I feel like this is turning into one of them scenarios where it's like you guys are not blaming the Glazers enough and you're blaming the players. We should just accept that, you know what, nothing's going to change till the Glazers have been removed and we have to accept that these players are not good enough and that's it. However, last season, we were in for all four trophies right up until the end of, what, December, January? And, and and in Longer. the midst of all that, in the midst of all that, Marcus Rashford, after the World Cup or whatever, he was um, he was he was prolific. He was unbelievable. He was going to kick on. If you look, what's embarrassing for me is if you look at the overlap. He does he does an episode with Gary Neville, and Gary Neville was talking about how this is going to be a best season, all that, and every single person made excuses for him. Oh, he's had this injury. He's had to deal with off the field antics and all that. What the fuck is that guy had to deal with now? Today, I was watching. I was Hoyland today, and he's look. I was watching that guy run. I was watching. I was watching Rashford, who's older than him, got more Premier League experience than him. Just stop running. Just stop giving his all. And it I'll was tell you what's so changed this season, though, Tej. When you when you stop, I'll tell you. Uh, when you stop, I can tell you what's changed for Rashford this season. But carry on, Brooklyn. Yeah, it, it was so embarrassing and difficult to watch, right? And I thought, you know what, maybe I'm being too harsh. And you know what? I saw fans leave at 81 minutes. I saw fans leave at 75 minutes. And I was thinking, what the fuck is going on? This is the first time I've been to Old Trafford and fans are leaving this early. And all I could hear around me was, Rashford, you lazy bastard, move, move. That's all I could fucking hear around me. And I thought, Am I just am I just fucking being deluded here, or is it everybody who's seeing Rashford's body language? And all I'm saying is, listen, I'm not disputing the fact that the club is toxic from the top down. I'm not fucking disputing it. But fuck me, these players can fucking work. These players can put in a bit of fucking effort, foul someone, smash someone, fucking get the crowd up, do something. You are telling me that they can't do that? And you know what? After today. I'm going to make a statement and say, I do not have any faith in Ten Hag after today. 
I have lost faith in my manager because I'll be honest with you, if he couldn't see how bad it was today and he couldn't change it, it, sh it shows me that he hasn't got steel, he hasn't got metal for it. He can't handle these personalities. He can't handle the pressure because I am worried for him. I'll tell you now, I was always, all the way up until this game, I was like, Ten Hag in, Ten Hag in, he's going to sort out. Today, I saw a side to him and I thought, this guy's absolutely bottled in. He's accepted. We will always be second fiddle and we're not good enough and that's it. And it worries me. It worries me massively. Can I just tell you what's wrong with Rashford? Go for it. Crashed his Bentley, mate. Crashed his Bentley. Okay, then, boys. I think... Yeah, um... That's how weak he is, right? Little shit gets on his nerves. Can, can throw him off his game. He's got period pains. Been slapped by a fish. Anything sets this kid off. He's no longer a kid, by the way. He's 26 going on 27, right? But I'm not Ten Hag out, but I am concerned that I think... He looks like he needs a break. He just needs a couple of weeks in the sun, man, because he just needs he feels a bit overall. It's easy for us to sit here and say this as fans, right? Clearly, right? And there's a reason why he's a football manager and none of us are. But if I if I got the chance to run that team, what I would do is drop the lot of them and say, right, Hannibal, Garnacho, Mainu, I'd throw you boys right in there. You might lose games, but you know what? I know you are gonna work your ass off because I'm giving you the chance to stake your claim this season as first teamers and Mr. Period face man slapped by a fish man and the rest of you all that can't bother you know putting in the graft off you go go and train with the reserves let me throw the the right academy not all academy because we can't get full 11 from the academy we're going to throw the academy boys in there and they may lose a game but you know we'll enjoy watching them because they'll work hard to a certain extent so yeah, I think basically, I think let's let's try and summarise this up. I think, like we've all agreed, nothing's going to happen until the new ownership comes in, and no twenty five percent shit um, for the ownership goes. Um, but just before we finish, um, your Tyler. Yeah, before the Tyler, I just want to say one thing: things aren't going to change overnight with anyone. No, they won't. No, they won't. No, I don't think anybody's expecting the Qataris to walk in tomorrow, and by Wednesday we're going to win everything. Uh, if, if anybody is, uh, 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 well, you can't say anything to fans because they have deluded expectations. But yeah, um, from my point of view, it's not going to happen overnight. Yeah, I want to know about the Tyler now. Go on. Hold on. I don't you know. Talk about deluded... Somebody asked me to hold mention on, it. Hold on, 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 hold on. You talk about deluded expectations, right? So what? what is your expectations, Harpal? Uh, yeah, as I said, Riz, did you have anything to talk about the Tyler? Yeah, thought so. You thought know, not so. Riz, not Riz. I don't know who this Tyler is. Wasn't you getting some DMs or something of that nature? Oh, yeah. Someone's asking, people are asking about the Tyler. I thought they'd ask about Tyler Swift at first, but no, apparently there's a real Tyler. <laughs> same same on, people are, same people are deluded fans who go to the game and they're not proper fans because they, they go to pay to watch the team play, but they're pocketing the Glazers, so they're deluded.